Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel here, and today, unfortunately, I have to come up with this video extremely fast, just got back from work and had to get this out there. Please, people, listen to me when I tell you this, what I'm about to tell you here, you need to understand before you upgrade to Windows 10. I do not recommend anybody upgrade to Windows 10. That's right, you heard me. Do not upgrade to Windows 10. You will be more, most likely forced to do it anyway later on, but uh, please just keep that in mind when I'm going to tell you what I'm about to say right now. I'm sorry I'm all over, all over the place right now. Um, what happens is Windows 10 should be called Trojan 10 or should be called Backdoor 10 because of one simple reason. There's backdoors all, back doors all over the coding. Now, obviously, the NSA, a lot of people, they act like they know something. Oh, the NSA, you know, uh, is tracking us. The NSA was tracking us ever since uh, Windows 98 and then came uh, Windows, uh, what is it? Uh, I mean, sorry, Windows, yeah. Windows Vista and all of those things and then it came for, to there. But what happened uh, to Windows 10 and Windows 7, whatever, and Windows 10? What happened is nothing has as many backdoors as this one has right now, okay? So if you look at the coding, you kind of see the evolution, how it goes from 98, how it goes from, you know, uh, and, and then, you know, slowly making it to XP and whatever. They always try, they have that thing in the middle, like Vista, and then came Windows 7. All of these things in the middle are trying uh, to take stuff out of you uh, to see how things work uh, when they throw it into the public. So what is this happen? Uh, why is this happening is because they are a corporation, they need to make money in that corporation. So what do they do? They take your information. I don't care what they say. They can tell me whatever the hell they want. Check it out for yourselves, people. They do sell your privacy to marketing uh, people. In fact, you're going to have... Uh, when you first install Windows 10, they're going to ask you a bunch of things. Make sure you read everything clearly and you uncheck those things. Make sure you uncheck as many things as possible because you're going to see that they say, can we use your information for blah, blah, blah. Do not do it. So what happens is... You kind of see the evolution of the back doors in 98. You see the evolutions even in Vista and then going on to, uh, you know, all of the uh, to Windows 7. But once Windows 7 started kicking in, the back doors started ha happening even more. Now, yes, the NSA has tracked us through our telephones. They can track us through anything. It doesn't matter. I don't fear the NSA. It doesn't matter. We already know that. They track us. The government tracks. Who cares? As long as you're doing everything correctly, they, you know, they really can't do anything. And they know where you are because they're going to locate you either way. That's not what I'm concer concerned about. What I am concerned about is how easy it is for hackers to infiltrate, uh, to breach your entire privacy in seconds using these back doors. If your information is out there, okay, other people, not just the government, are going to be hackers are going to easily get to that. Now, Apple, a lot of people say, oh, I'm safe, Apple, Apple, this, Apple, that. No, Apple is the same crap. Windows is following Apple's footsteps in that they already sold out apple and those of you guys that are apple fans congratulations be fans all you want but your every move is tracked every little thing is done on the apple this is what they're trying to get okay that's why there's uh credit cards on the telephone that's why there's all these things it's all to keep track of who you are but it's, it, see it doesn't matter because you always had the choice of i don't want this app i want this app you understand you always have that choice in this case you don't Windows now does updates and the user does not have a choice whether they want to disable it or not. It's hidden. Everything is hidden in there. But eventually, I'm willing to bet they're going to release an update that's going to kill this too, what I'm about to say. So what they're doing is, is not only are they tracking it, because I don't care what they do, but they're giving your information out to marketing agencies, but also hackers out there will hack easily your your entire system and pull out information from social security from your credit cards from you name it there's back doors everything they say they're doing it for anti-piracy i don't know what the hell their motive is but it's not anti-piracy because they're affecting the good users i paid for my for my windows 7 cd i paid for all my stuff i'm not a pirate but the thing is I am the one being affected here, and people that are paying good money are the ones being affected. It's not anti-piracy. They should give us a choice, like in, even in Windows 7, when you had the upgrade, you know, the automatic up updates, you can choose what you want to update and what you don't. They don't do that anymore, guys. Okay, so you have an option. Do you update or do you not update? Obviously, you're not going to update, but how do you do that? It's hidden, but here's the kick. Eventually, they're going to release, they're going to hire their own people to release viruses that are going to make even this you know what I'm about to tell you right here uh, obsolete because you're going to be forced into an upgrade if you don't update uh, into an update if you don't update you will not be able to play the latest games your the programs might not be able to to work like on your iPhones 
or uh, your mobile uh, telephones, uh, droids or whatever, whatever you guys, you ever click on one of those games or applications and it says you cannot use it until you update to firmware, yada, yada, yada. It's exactly the same thing. Now, Microsoft went into this, into a service uh, from a product uh, service from a service and now into a, a subscription everything's a subscription if you look at office You're paying a hundred dollars not for the program for it for a year You're paying for it all sorry, excuse me. You're paying for it for a year You're paying for it for all kinds of stuff. It has nothing to do. Sorry guys with anything so just for you just sorry Okay, so what's going to happen is you guys are going to be suckered into giving your information. So the first thing you got to look at, uh, okay, when you install. The second you install, read everything. First off, location. Okay, they say, oh, Cortana, which is what Siri is in Apple. Okay, Cortana is going to help you out and make it all easy and blah, blah, blah. Guys, you give your locator out. Okay, if you enable the lo locator, okay, you have to make sure that you disable it when you're installing. There's going to be an option for that. Make sure you disable that first because you don't want hackers knowing where you live, knowing all your information. You do not want that at all because they can even use that for robbing your credit cards and for identity theft. Identity theft is going to be at an all-time high thanks to Windows 10. So you guys have to make sure that you know what the hell you're doing before you install this. Okay, now let me tell you about the good. The good is it's a great system, okay? It's a great operating system. And it operates, it's very quick, but remember, there's always a catch. Nothing is free in life. The fact that they gave it for free, it's not because they like you. It's not because they made a mistake with Windows 8. They don't care about that. They did it because Windows 8 was the prototype to see exactly what's happening, how, how the public responds to it. Nobody responded, even though pretty much it was the same thing. And now they went for the extreme in Windows 10. Second thing you're going to need to do is disable uh, Windows update completely now remember like I said eventually new programs are gonna come out or even updates to your office Programs and all that in your subscriptions or whatever. Uh, I recommend you guys get Libre uh, It was called open office then Oracle took it over and it's Libre uh, if I'm pronouncing it right It's an open source office that gives you a uh, free window, uh, you know uh, Microsoft Word all of those things It's it's like uh, it's like the equivalent of that, but it's absolutely free. Okay. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna Put it up in a later video. I'm going to do a review on that to just give you guys that idea. The, the less things you buy of Microsoft right now, the better it is. Because most likely all the updates that you're going to be getting for their products are not going to be working until you update to whatever the hell firmware, which is not going to, you know, they're going to call it uh, an update uh, that, that they're going to have. And you're not going to have a choice. So the first thing you have to do is disable it for now. Okay, for now, you got to disable that. Another thing is they did all kinds of other stuff, which I'm going to show you. But that is the major thing. Disable the locator, okay? And then disable the uh, Windows update. Now, how the hell do you do that? How do you update, uh, uh, how do you close the updates when they programmed it not to, uh, I mean, you know, not, not to work that way, that you would automatically be forced into an upgrade? So there's a loophole. I found out there's something over here, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, take this right here. I'm sorry uh, that I'm shaking, but uh, I just wanna show it to you. Sorry, guys, got cut off there when I switched the camera. So, okay, so you're going into here. See, GP, you write into the search bar, okay? It's very easy, it's just hidden in there. gpedit.msc, okay? Second you go there, you see it's already searching for you, and you're gonna click right here, all right? And it should take you to this page right here, okay? To this uh, part right here. You click on computer configuration, very simple, guys. Uh, administrative templates, okay? Then you go to Windows components. Okay, now you just look for Windows update. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do it through looking through the camera here. Okay, now you go to, you'll see right here. Hold on, give me one second. Ah, where is it? Configure, configure. Oh, here we go, okay. Configure automatic updates. See that right here? So you double click on this, okay? It takes you into this folder right here, into this uh, uh, part right here, okay? So you notice I already fixed mine. Uh, originally, it was stay, uh, it was on uh, previous settings was on not configured. Okay, so what you do is you click on the enabled and then you go over here, okay, to configure uh, automatic, right? So you click on this and you go to, before it was, you know, obviously auto, Click on allow local admin to choose setting. Okay, the second you do that, go down here. Sorry, it's not in focus. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Click on apply and then hit okay. 
you are done. Now restart your machine. Also, uh, I'd advise to make sure that when you do that, uh, make sure that, uh, what do you call it, that uh, you, you look at your Windows update in the update folders, like right here, for example, and you see Windows, here we go, update. You click it in that thing right here. Okay, you go to check uh, check for updates. You look at uh, Windows update settings, okay? So you're looking over here, and you look, when was the last time you updated? Me, it was yesterday. But you notice, it's supposed to be set to every time today. So it didn't do it yet. I am going to release a video about it later on. But um, I'm just letting you guys know this is what it is. And uh, so far, it's working great. So, you know, nothing's going to interrupt it. Nothing's going to be, you know, update without your permission. Okay, so that, that already works right there. Now I'm going to uh, switch it off. Give me one second here. How do you... Ow. Okay, I got to shut this off. Guys, another thing I forgot to tell you is disable your cameras on your computer. I mean, if you want to do that, what you do is um, use it for Skype or whatever, but then, uh, t t you know, disconnect it right away. Uh, the reason is it's just like the telephone. You know, like when you sign on to Facebook, what happens immediately? Uh, when I signed up, it took a picture of my face and sent it to my account because it thought I was hacking my own account and showing me the picture of my face. Now, that is pretty cool for security in terms of for your security but it comes at a cost because any hacker now your face is going to be plastered anywhere and they'll be able to see and whatever and track or oh god knows what your private stuff is any second they can use your cameras on the computer to uh you know keep track of you know exactly where you are and all that stuff and what you're doing and all this stuff so just disconnect that another thing is when you uh uh, sign on. They're going to tell you to use your uh, Facebook account. Do not do that. Uh, just don't do that. Uh, another thing is, what was the other one I wanted just to bring up? So, okay, so the cameras, uh, the Facebook thing. Okay, uh, w Windows Edge. Okay, so the, uh, the Explorer, the Edge Explorer. Take it out completely like I did. I got rid of it. Uh, you could just, you know, right-click, unpin it to your start, whatever. It's still there, but don't use it. Make Internet Explorer 11 or uh, a sec a, a third-party one like uh, Mozilla or whatever uh, to be your, um, your uh, 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 you know, your, your explorer. And there's some other ones that I know that are out there that are anonymous, but they don't accept cookies and there's all kinds of crap. But trust me, this doesn't matter. This Anything will be better than Edge. Just take anything that is uh, other than Edge. Edge is the worst thing you can ever buy. So, I mean, you can ever have. So just disable that, get it out of the, out of the way I'm in, and make that your, uh, your default. Okay, so other than that, I think we covered pretty much everything. Sorry, I had to just throw that in. I'm all over the place only because I'm rushing to get this out as soon as possible. Okay, so basically that's how you take care of it. So take out your um, uh, your location when you install it. You could take it out. You could look on YouTube. There's ways to uninstall it even from when you already have it installed. The locator, I think it's very easy. You just look for it in the settings and then you just shut it off. Now, you uh, this thing will also not just disable Windows Update, but it will disable the accursed Windows Defender. Okay, the Defender... Oh, it does not operate good with other antivirus software. What it does is it screws it up by saying, we'll do the antivirus for you. Okay, we'll do the anti-spyware uh, for you. No. Get rid of that junk and you will be able to do stuff. Now, these are the things I recommend you get, okay? The first thing is uh, get a, a third-party firewall. Okay, that's first. Do not use the Windows firewall because, again, it's working for them. It's working within their little paradigm, whatever. And they're going to – they they might not know this is happening because, I mean, they know the NSA and all that stuff and that they're tracking you. But they might not know and that they're selling your information to marketing agencies and so on and so forth. But they might not know that other hackers are now e – can easily access it compared to all their other operating systems. Okay, easily access it. Before you needed to make a Trojan virus to actually get that kind of info, this thing became – the Trojan virus, okay? Uh, unless you guys know how to fix it. Like I always said, guys. Okay, so disable that. Get a third-party uh, antivirus, a third-party... Um uh, spyware, but AVG's great. Uh, Avast, I think that's another one that's really good. And get a uh, firewall, okay? That's a third-party firewall. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's free ones out there. If not, just pay for it. Doesn't matter. Uh, but those are the good ones to get out there. Like I said, people, listen up, okay? Windows 10 is a great system. Don't get me wrong. The only thing is because of these little backdoors that they have more than any other operating system I have ever seen. Because of those things, 
we are in a big, big privacy issue. I, I, I will contact Microsoft about this and I will contact the state representative as I, I urge everybody to do so because this is ridiculous. This is uh, infringing on our privacy. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, this is ridiculous. The government wants to track us. How, they're doing it anyway. They, they bugged our phones. They did everything. Who cares? But, you know, I mean, I care. Obviously, I don't want that to happen, but... It already happened for years. That's not the issue. The issue is that now other people like terrorists and other things, this is a major security breach. They can steal your identity in seconds. And like I always said, when technology grows, so does the human mind. It must grow with it. It must be three steps, five, six, seven steps ahead, even 10 steps ahead. Okay, because if not, you become technology's bitch. And if you're technology's bitch, what happens? You become a slave. You don't know what's going on. All your information is stolen. I do not recommend all these new gadgets on, on, the, on the smartphones to pay using your credit card on the smartphone. Do not do that. Don't put your credit cards on a smartphone. You will regret it, I promise you. It is all security. They all have security problems. They are not safe. I don't care what anybody says. You can, you know, they can check all they want. It is easy to hack people hackers will rip you off so I'm just sending this out there really quick I know I'm a little bit all over the place but I taught you the right way how to get into certain areas that you need to do for now remember now once Windows update comes maybe they learned that okay now the public's on to them so let's stop this bullshit and we're gonna we're gonna give them the freedom of doing that and make like an SP1 patch or maybe they're just going to release an update that's going to disable what I just showed you guys right now. And then you're pretty much screwed. Or what they're going to do is, like I said, since they're all subscription fees, every little thing that you're going to download now, any game you buy, any program like Office, any little thing that you're going to get is going to be a problem. Why? Because you're going to have to update. You're going to be forced to update to their craziness. Okay, now I also wanted to show you uh, another thing over here that if you guys wanted, but I'm going to show that in another video uh, because uh, this is if you want to put your like the My Computer and all of your files on the desktop instead of a shortcut, there's also a hidden way to do that. I don't know why they're hiding a lot of things. I guess they have a lot of things to hide. Microsoft is a corporation, people. You know, you can't trust politicians. You can't trust corporations. They pretty much go hand in hand. One funds the other, okay? So you can't trust any of them, really. So always be mindful and always remember that let your mind grow 10 steps even ahead than technology, okay? If technology is above you and you're putting your full trust in it, you will regret it, I guarantee it. Otherwise, if you guys, so far, after I controlled the situation, it's a great operating system. Don't get me wrong, okay? It's a great operating system. It works great, but there's a catch. If you destroy that catch you won't have a problem so far okay so if anything comes up i will make another video i just had to release that right away uh this is Le uh, dr leor uh norel barrel saying goodbye have a good one guys and i hope uh everybody does this or and also i'm gonna make a recommendation sorry if you have windows 7 okay do not up uh, do not update if you have windows 8 you're pretty much screwed anyway so just might as well upgrade to windows 10 it's the same exact garbage so uh windows 10 is going to be though more advanced so you'll have faster service uh, with back doors too but you'll be able to disable the back doors on that i'm sure on eight you could probably do it too i just didn't stay on eight for long i threw it out and went to seven right away because i hated it but uh 10 is going to be it's pretty much the same i guess so just update to 10 but you know if not i recommend everybody just go back to seven till you're going to be forced to up uh upgrade to windows 10 this isn't something to be tech savvy about, guys. You saw how easy it is. I showed it to you in step by step. Very easy stuff to follow. You don't have to hire anyone to do it. And for all you guys uh, and the older generation, I know a lot of you guys are a little bit scared. Yeah, I, I, you know, I used to teach computers. I remember a lady telling me she was scared to press a button that the computer will blow up. <laughs> guys, it won't blow up. I guarantee nothing's going to happen wrong. You do exactly as the steps as I told you, and you will do it easy by yourselves and you'll teach yourself you'll see you'll have confidence in doing other things as well uh but it, it was very easy to do okay i mean i showed it to you really quick steps to do it so anyways i i hope this helped you out if it didn't or it did or whatever write it on my comments below give me a thumbs up thumbs down i really don't care uh don't give me thumbs i don't care the thing is use this information and pass it on to other people even for credit like in all my videos i do i don't want credit you take the credit do whatever the hell you want with it just make sure this information gets out it needs to get out immediately have a good one guys take care